If you are a Linux or Unix user, I am sure you will miss the terminal and all the wonderful things you can do with command lines in a Windows environment. Most of the time you won't need to use the command prompt in Windows and its user interface is not as friendly either. However, if you need to use a terminal, Cywin is the best tool for you. Let us see how to install and configure Cywin in the Windows environment. Hi, I hope you have already subscribed my YouTube channel if not then subscribe now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notify our upcoming exciting videos. What is Cywin? Cywin is a Unix-like environment and command line interface for Microsoft Windows. Cywin provides native integration of Windows-based applications, data, and other system resources with applications, software tools, and data of the Unix-like environment. Thus it is possible to launch Windows applications from the Cywin environment, as well as to use Cywin tools and applications within the Windows operating context. Cywin consists of two parts a dynamic link library as an API compatibility layer providing a substantial part of the POSIX API functionality, and an extensive collection of software tools and applications that provide a unique like look and feel. Cywin was originally developed by Cygnus Solutions, which was later acquired by Red Hat. It is free and open source software, released under the new General Public License version 3. Today it is maintained by employees of Red Hat, NetApp, and many other volunteers. Installing Cywin To install Cywin, head to the official site of Cywin and download the executable depending on your system preference, 32-bit or 64-bit. The executable itself is small as it downloads all the required packages while installing the software. Once you have downloaded the Cywin installer, launch the installer as the administrator. You will be greeted with the welcome screen, just click on the next button to continue. Here in this screen, select the radio button, install from internet, and click on the next button. This option will download all the required packages for the installation and will store them in the local directory for future use. Here you can select the root directory for the Cywin installation. The default settings are fine unless you want to customize the installation directory and user access. Click on the Next button to continue. In this screen, you can select the local package directory where the downloaded files are stored. If you want to change it, go ahead and change the directory location by click on the Browser button. Otherwise, click on the Next button to continue. Unless you are using some sort of HTTP proxy to access the internet, just leave the default option and click on the Next button to continue. Here you can select the download site from which you wish to download the required packages. Unfortunately, Cywin doesn't provide any additional details like site location. So just select a random site and click on the Next button. As soon as you click on the Next button, Cywin will show you all the available packages in categories. At this point, you can keep them at the default settings and click the Next button. If you ever want to add packages to your Cywin installation, you can do so by running the installer as needed.
Now Sivin will download all the default packages and install them. The downloading and installing may take some time depending on your internet speed and the selected server speed. Once the installation is complete, you can start using Sivin by launching it using the desktop shortcut or from the start menu. Alternatively, you can configure Sivin to work with the normal Windows command prompt so you don't have to launch Sivin specifically. To do that, open up your start menu, type, system, and select the option, system, in the control panel section. If you are using Windows 8, you can access the same section by pressing Win plus X and selecting System from the Power User menu. Click on the Advanced System Settings located on the left pane to open System Properties. Click on the Environmental Variables button. Scroll down and select the variable path under the System Variables and click on the edit button now at the bin location variable value of Sivin at the end of the line don't forget to separate it using a semicolon if you have chosen a different installation directory while installing the Sivin then change the below location variable accordingly once you have added it, click on the OK button to save the changes. From this point onward, you can use Linux commands right in your regular Windows command prompt. Hopefully, that helps, and do comment below if you face any difficulties while installing and configuring Sivin.